Welcome back to Otaku No Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me. For my review of Gundam Wing Endless Waltz, the OVA and movie sequel to new mobile report Gundam Wing. Now I say it's a movie and OVA because it was originally an OVA, which was then expanded into a movie. Um, you know, same basic material, but some added stuff for the movie. This is a sequel to original Gundam Wing. Now, uh, the series Gundam Wing had a changeup of writers partway through, and that's important because a number of elements of the story in Gundam Wing, particularly some backstory for the characters, uh, was never completed in the original TV series. And then this waltz goes back and finally ties up those loose ends and also explores more deeply some of the themes of Gundam Wing, particularly the theme of fighting for peace. Now, a lot of detractors of Gundam Wing complain that Wing has this theme that you have characters who believe in total pacifism and yet they, they're fighting people and they, they, they have people you know, uh, that they support who are, who are fighting. How can you fight for peace? And Endless Walls delves into that and really explores the idea that, well, yes, it is a paradox. Yes, it, it does seem strange. But that, you know, it makes the point that that is very much intentional on their part to say that this is a paradox of reality. Sometimes you have to fight for peace. Freedom isn't free. Uh, sometimes people come in and try to take away peace and try to end peace. And sometimes you have to fight for that. And that's just kind of the nature of things. So you have this... this OVA movie that is returning to the world, explaining some of those backstories and delving deep, more deeply into some of the themes. Uh, it is also very much made for Gundam Wing fans. Now, if you haven't seen Gundam Wing and you go into Endless Waltz, I'm sorry, this is just not for you. This is aimed very directly at folks who watched the entire original Gundam series and or Gundam Wing series and presumably enjoyed it enough to watch a, a sequel. So, <clears throat> A lot of it, well, some of it, is structured so as to provide a reaction to fans. Now, I've certainly seen plenty of stuff that's pandering to fans. This is not that. I've seen things where it's just, this character shows up, and then that character shows up, and this character shows up, and you know, every possible character shows up to save the day. That doesn't happen uh, in, in this. But this is those main characters coming back together and, uh, and, and doing stuff together, and, and you get some cameos from people. But it doesn't go over the top. This, uh, Endless Waltz very much has its own story dealing with uh, a new threat. I won't go into any of the details because it really doesn't matter. Um, but the nature of that threat and the way it plays out uh, plays very closely to some of these characters and how they are structured and what they do. And one thing I really appreciate is how some of those themes, some of those character developments are really tied off in Endless Waltz, particularly dealing with Hiro Yui and just his whole personality issues. And so I, just, I really like that. So, you know, Endless Waltz does have its own plot. It is also tying up those loose ends. Uh, and it's kind of made for fans. And I, I say that, I, I can say that partly because I originally watched Endless Waltz at its North American premiere at Otakon. And the fans went nuts. And there were all sorts of, of, of points where the fans just went crazy and cheered and so forth and so on. So this, this clearly works for a crowd of raving Gundam Wing fans. But it also has other stuff in there, which is nice. Another nice thing is the animation budget. Um, Gundam Wings is certainly one of the more cheaply animated uh, Gundam series, and this is one of the more expensively animated Gundam OVAs. Uh, just very lush animation, plenty of cells, and certainly Sunrise never does, or almost never does, a really bad job of, of actually drawing the characters. So they actually, you know, the, um, uh, that side of things certainly works well, and they have enough budget to really show off these mecha designs uh, you, know, you know, really well, while still maintaining the overall visual feel of Gundam Wing, where it's kind of a dark universe, lots of shadows, um, and fairly, you know, a fairly stylized kind of baroque world, which again I appreciate, and I appreciate that they you know, th they kept that. Um, you also have a, a few elements that call back to previous Gundam series, as is appropriate, um, not as in actual ties into other timelines, but just little things that will remind you of other Gundam series here and there. So overall, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty tight package. You have a good plot, or at least, you know, certainly a, a complete plot. You have, um, uh, you know, tying up those, those elements from, from the original series. And, um, you know, the original English dub cast, the original Japanese dub cast, all that kind of stuff. You can watch either the OVA version or the movie version. Um, 
And to me, this is how to make one of these little sequel projects where you come back to the world, you let the characters do what they do best while resolving some of those things that may have been, you know, hanging out there for a while. There's certainly plenty more stories that could be told in the Gundam Wing universe, um, as it can be seen in the manga. Um, but Gundam Wing is kind of designed around those characters. You know, Hiro and Troa and Katra and, and Duo and Wu Fei are all, you know, kind of central to all that. And then, of course, Trey's and Zack. I mean, there's just a, a lot um, centered around that conflict. And Endless Waltz definitely sort of concludes all of those, uh, you know, uh, all those storylines. So it's not that Endless Waltz ends with you, you know, thinking, okay, well, um, uh, you know, I've, I've seen everything that I could possibly imagine in this universe, but it definitely ties off those storylines completely, which I just, I really appreciate. So as you can see, I, I really loved Endless Waltz. I thought it was, was just very well structured. If you want to watch it, head by streamsuki.com, see if it's streaming legally somewhere. Otherwise, if you want to talk about Endless Waltz and other series like it, please stop by otakunovideo.net. I'm going to put a post on the forum digging a little deeper into some of the themes of Endless Waltz. So if you've watched it and want to talk about the ending and how some of those plot threads tie up, we can talk about it there. And uh, uh, overall, that's it. Thanks for watching. With crystals?